high level, low level board setup inside of monday.com can make managing projects 10 times easier. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up. So let's head straight over to monday.com. This is an example monday.com system. And on the left hand side here, you can see I've got three different projects. Um, I'm sure your projects will look slightly different, but this is just an example for the video. And as you can see here, there's loads going on and managing each and every one of these is very, very difficult. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a master project board. So that means as opposed to going to each and individual projects to see how things are progressing, you can see everything from one board, making your life 10 times easier. And I'm sure going to save you a ton of time as well. So how do we do this? It's very straightforward. What we firstly need to do is go ahead and add a new board, just like any other board. So go to the plus button at the top here and press new board. And I'm going to call this master, if I can spell correctly, master project board. Um, and I'm going to name this, change the naming convention to projects to be in line with this video. So master project board and go ahead and press create board. So we're one step in the right direction to reducing the time taken to manage projects in monday.com. I'm just going to move this up to the top as it is symbolic It is the master project board. And what we want to go ahead and do now is connect our master project board to all of our actual projects. So the child projects that we're going to manage from the master project board. To do so, we need to create a connection column. I'm going to run through this quickly. If you aren't familiar with connection columns, check out the video linked above. That would explain in way more detail how to use them. So press the plus button on the far right hand side here and just search for connection or connect boards column. Go ahead and select this option. And what we want to do is press select boards and we want to connect to both project one, two or one, three and two great ordering monday.com. And it is absolutely imperative. You press create a two way connection. And once you've done so, go ahead and press connect boards. And we do want to create a mirror column, but we will be creating multiple, but I will select this anyway, just to save us a little bit of time. Um, and I wouldn't worry about this for the time being. So now we've created our connection to our projects. What we want to do is change each of the item names to correspond with the project. So I'm gonna call this project number one, and then I'll call this project number two, and I'm gonna call this project number three. There we go. So project number one, and what I want to happen is all of this data, so all of this information, I just want to feed into this item here. So I can see exactly how everything is getting on and progressing. Same for project two, all of this information here, I just want to automatically feed into this one line item and I can see exactly what is going on at a glance. So let's go ahead and set that up. So what we need to do is we need to connect all of our existing items to that master item. So if I go ahead and press Command A on Mac, Control A, on Windows, or if neither of those are working, just select all of the groups. And what we want to do is we want to go to the link to master project board, and we want to select this, and we just want to link all of these items to project number one. There we go. And that will update automatically. As long as you mass selected everything, then you're all good. What I might recommend doing is just changing this name from link to, I hate the way they add that link to thing, find it very frustrating for whatever reason. So that's that, that's done. What I'd also recommend you do is anytime a new item is added to this particular board, as it stands at the moment, new item, it does not automatically link to project number one. And I would not rely on your team. I'm sure they are very reliable, but they might just forget to associate that item with the, um, with the project. So I'm just gonna delete these quickly and show you how to do this. So what you wanna do is set an, a default item value. To do this, just press the three dotted button up the top here and go to the far right and just select default item values. Go to the bottom here and, ma and select master project and just select project number one and press save changes. Very simple. So what we're doing is we're telling monday.com that anytime a new item is created on this particular board, automatically associated with project number one so we can keep track of everything that's going on. So if I just go ahead and add example item number two, what should happen is it will automatically connect to project number one, just like that. Very, very simple. Now, I would strongly recommend you either lock or reduce the visibility of this column. The reason being is people might accidentally unclick it or intentionally if they're trying to hide the fact that they've not done something yet. So to do this, go ahead to the three dotted button on the connection column and go to settings and just press restrict column editing 
or restrict column view. Restricting column view means people will not be able to see this column at all unless you give them permission to see it. Or restrict column editing is everyone can see it, but only the people you would like to can edit it. I'm just gonna restrict column editing for the sake of this video. So now we've done this for project number one, we need to go ahead and do this for project number two and project number three. So head over to project number two. Firstly, let's just change the name, remove the link to. There we go. Then mass select all items using either control or command A. Go ahead and select. And we want to associate all of these with the master item project number two. Very important. You bear that in mind. Um, and then this will update all of them automatically. Again, go to your default values like we did on project number one and select the default value as being project number two, because that is the item that the master item we want to associate with. And then finally, I would lock this column again, so restrict column editing. Just in case you've forgotten how to do the item default values, just go to the three dotted button and select default item values and select project number two. Same applies for project number three. Let's just head over, command A. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and associate all of these items with project number three. I'm gonna change the name very quickly here. If we can just move through this, please. There we go. You wanna go ahead and assign the item default value just in case you've forgotten again, it's up here. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and restrict column editing again. And I think that is everything. There we go. So now we've got project number one, two, and three set up associated with our master project board. So that's great. Now let's go ahead and pull all of the information from these various projects onto this one board. You can see here, we've already got the status column set up as a mirror. So this is pulling in all of the status columns from project number one. Um, and what they look like, okay? But we're probably gonna wanna take this a step further and see a bit more information. So you can see on each of the projects, we've got status, timeline, progress, and cost. And I wanna pull all of these across. So to do so, it's very, very simple. Go to master project board, go to plus on the right hand side here, we wanna create a new mirror. And then we wanna go ahead and associate our mirror column with our connect boards. And then for project number one and two and three, it's all gonna be the same. So in this instance, let's just select the timeline timeline and timeline so there we go we've got the timeline column pulling through now you're probably wondering why are all the timelines the same well that is because i duplicated these boards here so if i go to let's say project number two the earliest is the fourth so the tenth here if i go ahead and change this to here instead that should then update you can see that's changed to the 20th of march now that's just for example purposes for the sake of this video okay so we've got the timeline put in through now what else can we pull through we've got the progress and the cost and i definitely think these are both very very applicable so if we press add column again select mirror add to board and then what we want to do is connect our mirror to our connections column. And for this one, let's do cost, entering cost, cost, and then for number three, cost as well. And let's do the sum, probably not the average, the sum. So now we can see how much each of our projects are costing us. Again, the numbers are the same because I obviously just duplicated these. But if I go over to project number one and I add 1,500 USD for this particular item, go back to my master projects, you can see, wow, it's costing us $1,774 for this particular project thus far for all of the tasks that need to be done. And then finally, we have got progress. So on project number one, we've got the progress column. If you're not familiar with the progress column, check out the video linked above. Great for managing projects. If we go back to our master project board and then go to add column again, and we want to go to mirror. And then in this instance, we want to go ahead again, connect to the connections column. And then for this, we want to select progress progress and progress again there we go so now this is going to show us the progress of each of the projects all on one board now if i remove the date column it's just not necessary you can see now i can easily see each of my projects one two and three what's going on the timelines the cost the status the progress i can see literally everything and as things change i can see in live view what's going on for each of my projects so if you've then won another project for example and you need to add that all i would recommend doing is going over to let's say project number three and if, as long as it follows the same workflow so it's the same fulfillment process or project process go ahead and any of these projects just pr press the three dotted button press duplicate board i'd call this project number four and then just copy the board structure only you might do board structure and items it's entirely up to you press duplicate and what will happen is this will automatically associate with the master project board um, via the connection column so if we go to the three dotted buttons here go to customize you can see that project number four has automatically connected itself the only thing you'll need to do 
is the default item values and you'll be good to go and just make sure you go ahead and create a project number four item on this master project board and make sure all of the items that are auto populated are associated with item project number four on the masters board and then you change the default value so any additional items that are created automatically associate with project number four as well so i know this has been very comprehensive <laughs> i apologize for rambling on but hopefully this gives you a very good and clear understanding of the high level low level board a connection that you can create inside of monday.com for managing projects, client fulfillment, whatever the case may be. If you need any help setting up monday.com for your business, check out the link below. We would be delighted to help. Thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.